Today, hello everyone. Class, internal control system of an organization. Internal control system for an organization is very important thing. This is designed by the management. Why management designed this internal control system? Because organizations they have assets. So they have to make sure they have safeguard these assets. In order to safeguard these assets, maybe possible losses and harmful events, they have designed internal control system for an organization. So today I'm going to discuss two functions of internal control system that is objectives and components of internal control system. When management designing the internal control system, they are going to achieve these objectives of internal control system. Number one is effectiveness and efficiency of operation. Organizations do have their operations. Make sure when you're designing internal, system, internal control system, the internal control system should achieve effectiveness and efficiency of its operations. Next one is reliability of financial reporting. When, you, when an organization is controlled by its management, management makes sure they have keep their records and reports. When they design the reports or records, make sure everyone could understand what they have recording, they have reporting. If you reporting, it's according to the gap, which means generally accepted accounting policies. Generally accepted accounting policies. When you're designing it according to the gap, anyone who's referring these reports can understand what they have reported. If the individual who is from Sri Lanka, who is from Singapore, who is from UK, who is from USA, anyone who's referring this, he could easily understand what is this individual going to mention. Next one is compliance with laws and regulations. For any given organization, the industry they are maintaining, the industry they have lots of laws and uh, regulations. Maybe you know, environmental laws, if they are operating in a financial um, uh, industry, there may be uh, bank policies. So you have to, according, when you are designing internal control system, make sure to comply with laws and regulations. So other than this objective, I'm going to discuss components of internal control system. There are five components you can identify when it comes to internal control system. We discuss number one is control. Control environment. What is this control environment? This is very important components of internal control system. Why? Because control environment means this is the individual who is included here. The management is included here. The one who is designing internal control system is management. So when you are designing internal control system, you should make sure honest and integrity individuals. When honest and integrity individuals design the internal control system, the internal control system is more effective. So that is why very important this in control environment. Next one is risk assessment. For any given organization they have risks. So you can't reduce this risk up to zero. When it comes to risk assessment you can identify a lot of risks for organizations. So when you identify risk, you make sure you have add control activities. Next one is control
Control activities. Control activities mean when you identify risk for an organization, you have to make sure design controls. This is the control activity. Next one is information and communication. Information and communications mean when you're designing internal control system, people who are controlling this, designing internal controls, they should be communicated, management should be communicated to its lower position individuals. So information and communications will be designed referring to that. Next one is monitoring. Monitoring also a very important function when you're designing an internal control system for an organization, the management make sure supervise people who are controlling these internal controls or people who are following these internal controls. So when management feels like when this design the internal control system is not effective, they can again redesign the internal control system. So this is these are the components of internal control system of an organization.